skydiving. It's one of the most thrilling things anybody can do on the planet. On this day, several years ago, I actually skydived, skydove, skydive. I jumped out of a plane. And not only jumped out of a plane, but out of the highest possible height, 18,000 feet. Any higher, you need oxygen. I did this, and after I did, I paused to soak in the feeling. Right, Ooh, all the wind in my hair, the feeling on my skin, the exhilaration from being so high. And what was crazy is all those feelings were trumped. It was trumped when I was leaving the Florida Mall. Now, if you're from Florida, you know that everyone in Florida is not actually from Florida. This couple was no exemption. Uh, they did not speak English either, and I did not know what they spoke. So after some miming and shapes and grunting and pointing, we figured out what the problem was. The problem was the car wouldn't start. Now, I'm not a car guy, but I got this one. So I rolled up my sleeve and I helped him out. As much as I love thrill-seeking and I've been blessed to do a lot of thrill-seeking things, those aren't what brings you fulfillment. Because to fulfill something is to accurately interpret. And if I'm trying to live and fulfill living, I am accurately interpreting how to live. So in Genesis 1, it says that we're created in the image of God. Well, God is love, God is righteousness, God is merciful, and God is many other things. How do we know what to do? Well, luckily, God personified himself in the person of Jesus, and he provided plenty of examples and stories and tales and experiential things we can experience even today to discover what that is. And when we do things that aren't part of that, um, even if they're off a little bit, like skydiving, we're not going to get filled, especially when we do things like holding in anger. When you hold in anger or bitterness or resentment, it's like holding in acid. And acid does way more damage to the thing it's holding than whatever it's poured on. You're not designed to harbor those feelings. You're not designed to be fulfilled by those feelings. You're not designed to focus on the negative things. He said, keep your eyes on the kingdom. You were designed to be a conduit for God's grace and mercy to flow, for his love to pour out of. So, let him pour out.